Hi, I'm Martin, welcome back. I thought as it's the first week of October and we're in the UK and heading into autumn, I thought it'd be fantastic to do some nice warm autumn food. I thought what a greater thing to do than do the great British favourite curry out on the barbecue, chicken tikka masala. However, if you look behind me, look at the sky. The sun's out, it's in my face, I've got my sunglasses on, I've got my t-shirt on, it's an absolutely fantastic day. It, it's burger weather. But now I've prepared for a curry, so that's what we're going to have. Okay, so I've got my grill set up again. Uh, charcoal one side, clean on the other. So I'm going to create two cooking zones. Okay, so let's get the bad boy fired up. And we can start preparing the chicken. Okay, so we're warm there it's not massively hot it's just warm medium heat so let's get started by putting our pan on here i'm going to put in two tablespoons of butter and i'm going to go in with two tablespoons of rapeseed oil and we'll let that all melt down nice so we'll get all that nicely melted down. And what I'm going to do on the cooler side is let's just put our chicken tikka on. So my chicken tikka, I've had that marinating, uh, marinating I should say, for about four hours. I, put, I made it this morning, it's about four hours. That's been waiting for so let's just grill that slow we'll make our sauce on this side at the moment okay so <clears throat> uh, by the way if I sound a bit groggy um, I've, I've had the flu and I, I've just sort of got over it also if you can hear a load of noise in the background um, there's a, a big bikers convention going on and all the bikers all day have been coming up and down my road so you're gonna be hearing a lot of noise from that but anyway, let's uh, let, let's get these onions added in. <clears throat> get all these covered in oil. What I'm going to do is get these all nicely, nicely rendered down, nice and soft. I've also got um, four cloves of garlic. And I've also got 25 grams of grated ginger. We get all that down as well. So we get all that nicely rendered down. So the uh, the great British chicken tikka masala apparently was invented in Glasgow by a Bangladeshi chef in the 1970s that was trying to create a Eastern dish for the British palate. I didn't know that till recently. Oh, there goes some more bikes again. So look, as, as you can see, that's got um, <coughs> a nice bit, of, nice bit of color on it. You can see that's all softening down nice. My God. I hope you can hear me all right, you know, because I've got somebody using a chainsaw somewhere. I've got the bikes going up and down the street. I've got gusts of wind going past the barbecue. I don't know if you're going to hear me all right, or whether I need to voice this over. Now, what I did this morning when I made up the uh, marinade for the chicken tikka, um, I, I, I saved some back. So what we're going to do, the rest of the marinade, I'm going to put in there. <clears throat> and then we'll give that a stir. More than anything, I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I've got half a teaspoon of turmeric. Let's get that in there. Look at the colour. It's going to be fantastic this is. 
I've got a teaspoon of caster sugar. Ooh. And I've got a teaspoon of flake salt. Or kosher salt, as they like to say in the US. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of tomato puree. Right, so <coughs> I've left this a few minutes <coughs> just to get that all, excuse me, coughing, um, just to get that all nice and infused. So what I'm going to do now is add 400 ml of water. So what I'm also going to do now is, these have just been on the cold side, just sort of getting going. So I think I'm just going to just turn them over, they're just cooking slow at the moment, but we'll, we'll get them going good in a minute. My God, the bikers, there must be hundreds of them going up and down my street, I don't know if you can hear them. Can you hear them? Blimey. Okay, so uh, this sauce look is now getting, I mean, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's now getting really quite hot as well. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this sauce inside and I'm going to whiz it up so it's a, a lovely clear um, sauce. Okay, so I've took the sauce in and I've, start, I've, I've whizzed it up. So what I'm going to do now is just swap these grills round. If I can get it out. I'm, I'm going to swap these grills round on the account that that one is clean. So let's just get that out. And what we'll, we'll get these off. We'll just get these over here. And then what we can then do is concentrate on getting our chicken tikka nicely cooked. And then we can get the curry finished off. So let's get that one back over here. Clean one. Okay. So what we're doing now is concentrate on getting these cooked over the hot grill. What I'm then going to do is bring my sauce back out while that's cooking. So yeah, like I say, uh, I've whizzed that up and now uh, that's just a bit smoother. I just thought it'd be nicer like that. So we can now keep this sauce warm on, on the cooler side. So let's give these a these a turn, see how they're looking. Look at this. Can you imagine all that flavour look from these? That chicken tikka then going into that sauce. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, <coughs> let's have a look at my chicken tikka. Um, by the way, I'll, I'll put the recipe for the tikka below, or you could go and buy the Hairy Bikers Great Curries and the recipe will be in there as well. Now look at that, they've got a great colour on them now. Now the other thing about the chicken, I'm not over bothered if it's not got an internal temperature of 75 degrees because what I'm going to do now is put this into the sauce uh, and then we can let it carry on cooking anyway. So um, all I wanted to do was get a nice bit of colour which will add to the flavour. So let's get the chicken in here. I mean, look at this. Look at this chi chicken tikka masala. How fantastic does that look? Britain's favourite curry, apparently. Oops. Let's get my 
next one off. Stir. Who would not want this? Someone who doesn't like curry, I suppose. But if you do like curry, why would you not want this? So now the next thing to do is to add two tablespoons of double cream and hope it doesn't split. Like I said, you don't want to be eating this if you're on a diet. Oh, look at this. Is it going to split on me? Look at this. Look at the colour. Just look at it. Whether or not I'm going to get myself a, a sexy money shot at the end, I'm not really sure because, as I said, I'm cooking and filming alone. I don't quite know how I'm going to finish this video off, to be honest. But now look at that. Just look at that. Chicken tikka masala, invented in Glasgow. Britain's favourite curry. What more do you say? I can't say anything else. Uh, we're going to go with the... We're going to go with the British favourite, which is chicken... Oh, bollocks. <laughs>